We're now joined by Claude Lawler, country singer. And how are you getting on and all set for this gig? Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, it's one of those gigs when it's not a country gig, you never know what way you're actually going to, you know, put, go down, I suppose. So, but I'm really looking forward to the, like the whole event is going to be amazing. It's for mental health. So that's all that matters. Well, I heard your sound check and I was like, I just cannot wait for it because I think I love a bit of country. Yeah, it's it's like the two, there's two songs I'm doing that I've written in Nashville. You know, they're real mm. country kind of vibey ones. But um, I was afraid to do any Irish country stuff because not many people would know it around here as much as kind of up the country where I normally am but we'll give it a go and see what people think. Now bring us back why country or how country how did it all happen? Um, God, country's always been in my house. You yeah. know, my parents listened to it all the way up. Like Mike Gardner is kind of, I'm from Clare, so the country corner on the Saturday and Sunday would be what yeah. mom and dad would listen to. And um, I kind of grew to just loving it then. Carrie Underwood is the first artist oh, I started to follow. She won American Idol and I had to tell my family over in the States, will you please send me over her CD? It was my first CD. And um, I've been doing it my whole life, really. Mm. But then last May, I was very lucky that I was chosen as this kind of, it's so cheesy when I say it, this rising country star yeah, or whatever. No, and um, um, I got to go on the Late Late Show at Nathan, so that kind of really pushed me more so than stepped into the country music scene because it's so small here in Ireland that mm. for my whole life it's been I've been trying to get into it and yeah. you could probably count on your fingers who's actually playing music around the place country and, and doing doing so well with it. But um, yeah, I got in there now and I'm just kind of taking every day as it comes. But it's funny, like we're not well, not funny. Not, I don't mean a funny way, but like country now has become so prominent in the music scene. It is huge. Yeah. Like Nathan Carter, Mike Denver, yeah. um, Derek Ryan, who we've had on the show as well. Yeah. Like they have massive followings, and there's a huge love out there for it. It is amazing. You know, I suppose after the Late Late Show, Nathan brought me to the Marquee in Cork for his show, mm. and I've been to a few festivals. And some people got in touch with me. Do you want to play the festival? And then Nathan will be there, so we do, two of us just yeah. do a duet anyway. But um, it's just crazy, you know. And I suppose if you're with one person, like I always I refer to Nathan because I've just been amongst him the yeah. most you know it's phenomenal what that man has achieved in his mm -hmm. life and he's I couldn't I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank him for what he did for me you know he did he didn't have to bring me to the other festivals after the Late Late Show he could have just said okay that's my job done now <laughs> off I go but um he's been so supportive and he's given the best advice in the entire world because I suppose when he was my age he was just about getting going yeah. you know and um it's very very tough it's but everything in life is tough you know you just have to give it a go and I'm doing my first dance now in March so I, I announced it yesterday and I'm absolutely like I'm nervous but I'm excited. I don't know what way to feel about it. But again, it's one of those things you just have to take the yeah. leap of faith in. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And well, tell us where it's on. How can we get tickets? Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you now. Um, it's on in American Fergus, where I'm from, in Clare. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like, you know, it's my first dance. What better way to do it than where I'm from? Because mm -hmm. everyone's been so supportive to me. But normally all this dance kind of happen in Ennis with the Jamborees yeah. and other festival in the West County. But I just said, no, 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 I'm not. I'm doing it in the market. And if people want to come, then they'll come. And yeah, nearly 200 tickets. Sold in wow. a night, yeah. So it's really, really like for a dance. That's really weird, you know. You don't, you don't get that with a dance. It's kind of people come at the door, but um, yeah, we might have to stop people coming in <laughs> if they keep buying tickets. Never would I ever have thought that I'd say that. But on the night, David James, he's a singer mm -hmm. from Donegal, and he's on Highland Radio. He's a presenter on that, and Trudy Lawler is playing as well, which most people think is like my mom or my aunt. It's not. <laughs> she's just, she's uh, just another Lawler. But um, yeah. So I'm really excited. And I'm just hoping that it works out. Stressful. So Sounds absolutely yeah. incredible. Talk to me about Nashville. What was that like? Yeah, Nashville was so good. I was very lucky. Was it um, last October? Mm -hmm. I was in Cowboys and Heroes, a country music festival in Ireland. It's one. It's actually a really, really big one. And um, I auditioned first, kind of, to be the country star of that competition. And I didn't win it. But my prize was I came third, I think. But was to co-host a TV show on Sky. And wow. it never happened. Whatever way, with two and four, it was everyone's schedules. But at the same time, I had released my uh, music video for my church. Mm -hmm. And the person that owned the TV show actually reached out to me like hey I'd love if you could actually you know if you want your own TV show blah blah, blah we could talk about it and I was like that'll never that's never going to happen but anyway and I was out in Nashville writing with the two songs I'm performing tonight I wrote them out in Nashville and then I met the guy that owned the TV show Philip and he he was interviewing me like this and then he was like yeah and you're going to have a TV show and I was like yeah sure hopefully someday and he was like no I'm giving you a TV show and from there then it kind of just it was half getting in the door yeah. of of the country music scene and um yeah, it just worked out from there. People started to recognise me and I was interviewing Nathan and Derek and Mike and <laughs> I was interviewing really? all these people for eight, for nearly like a year, I suppose. And then the show, I got to do it for seven months and then after when I wanted to actually make my own name, I just said, I have to pull back from the presenter mm -hmm. side of things because I just wanted to take it seriously, just me. I wanted someone to interview me. Yeah, <laughs> More really so than me, always <laughs> interviewing them. And... Um, then, yeah, it's just from there then on Nashville. I got to do it over in Nashville and yeah. write music in Nashville. Like, 
Nashville is amazing. If anyone has been there, hasn't been there, it's it's spectacular. Like you don't have to be into country music to appreciate the creativity that happens over there, and everyone's willing to work together. And you don't know who you could be sitting down, and Garth Brooks could walk in. You know, oh, wow. it's just crazy. Like or Randy Travers or someone like that. But um, yeah, it's definitely one of my top cities to yeah. ever per- kind of perform or work in. Oh, it just sounds incredible. I've heard yeah. so much about. It. I'm dying to go. You have to, I, I can't sing, but as you say, creativity. I'm like, I'll be there. Yeah. I can go and I can interview people. But you know what? It's it's like you know you could be like everyone that goes to Nashville wants to make a career mm. in songwriting like co- composure like singing whatever it may be and you could be serving a table and someone could be like oh yeah, I wrote a song for Blake Sheldon but they still have to serve the table because you know it's there's so many people doing the same mm. thing over there that it's so hard to actually make a living that's the only sad part but it's probably like Los Angeles and people yeah. go to there to do acting but um yeah no it's going it's going good so Oh, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, just to tell us before we go, where can we find you on social media? So everything, Claudia Lawler Music, from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter, everything is is under that domain. Um, just look me up, www.claudialawlermusic.com too, and you'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> and the dance. Don't forget the dance. <laughs> what date is on again? March 28th in New Market and Fergus. And where can we get tickets? Online on my Facebook page. It's on Everbyte. So Everbyte, is that Everbyte? Everbyte. <laughs> That'll tell you now. It's on, it's on Facebook anyway. You'll see I have like, plagued people the last 24 hours and you just click on the link and you can buy tickets there. Well, Cloda, I cannot wait to see what's thank next for you. Thanks so much for chatting to oh, us. Thank you so much.